Hi guys, it's me, Tonic TZW. Now, this isn't a full game. It's the first half of a game um, because I played it, I thought, very well. Um, and I wanted to share the thoughts behind what happens um, at the start of this game. And I've called it Choosing the Fight. Think before you sink. And it just gives you an idea on some tips and tactics on how to play air cap as a destroyer now lots of destroyers are different you won't necessarily want to play it this way you might have your own style and want to play it completely different but the thing to look out for here is we've got a division of two ostergotlands and a fletcher and i always look at the team sheet at the start so what i'm also looking for is the fact we've got an azulian chapayev We've got an Eastern Dragon out there, so we've got lots of HE, a little bit of radar. We've also got a Brandenburg with big secondaries. Now, this is the new map that was introduced recently, I think in the last update. Um, it's quite a nice map to play. I enjoy it because, yes, it's got a few islands here and there, but what it's also got is lots of open water, and that means that things can get spotted. If people want to hide behind islands on this one, there's a chance you're going to get outflanked. Now, I have got a cruiser and a battleship behind me got a suzuya i'm thinking okay that's great because we know that there is a full division of destroyers out there and hopefully if we get into a little bit of trouble that suzuya can help to get us out of it now the destroyer that spawned towards b or one of them that spawned on B, he is going to come across here to C cap. B is a difficult one to play, especially when there's radar and certainly so many destroyers in the game. You don't want to be sailing straight into a small cap and get yourself torpedoed. Why Wargaming didn't uh, expand the map to make that a full-size cap, I don't know. But you will notice that I have the located icon there on the right side of my screen, which means that there is a ship using twist and track or perceptive out of there. I am going fishing with early torpedoes because red team are on cap. I'm also running per perceptive and I can see the approximate location of the closest ship. Now, I don't know what is out there yet. I am talking to the Friesland, who's across there on A cap. He doesn't know if he's got a destroyer, but he is aware that his icon is moving around as well. So good communication is another key to this one. So what we've done is we're pushing out and we're going in an angle because we want to be ready to turn around. We've gone fishing with those early torpedoes. It doesn't look like we're going to catch anything. We're going to get no nibbles on the line until we dev strike one of the Ostergotlands. Now, obviously, that Ostergotland has quite long range, high speed, 90 knot minimum torpedoes. So we've gotten rid of one third of the risk and in doing this we know that we have the division on this side we also know that the Brandenburg is there and uh, the Azure Lane Chapayev is out there at the back as well but we land two tops on that Brandenburg so he has obviously damaged conned and I'm calling for fire on him because if you get a fire on him or a torpedo on him he will tick down for damage there is the Fletcher. That other destroyer that came across from B has got himself spotted. Now, that's done me a favor because I'm not located. They don't know I'm here. So I'm slowing down, slowing down, waiting to get a shot on. Here we go. We're going to start banging them out. We're going to roll our smoke because these guys have fired their guns. So they're spotted now. We take his engine out. He's going to have to damage control that one if he wants to get away. We are going to put a couple of sets of torpedoes out there, but at the same time, we don't want to hang around too long in our smoke screen because we don't know where their torpedoes have gone. You'll notice that the ships were that were behind us, literally they've realized destroyers are coming this way and they're running. That Suzuya would have been absolutely epic in supporting. That Fletcher has either put tops through my smoke, but in doing so, He's uh, turned broadside as we've backed out. We've got the guns on and he is gone. And I'm going to dip back inside my smoke screen and turn out and away because 
If I'm going away from torpedoes, I get more warning of them coming in towards me. So I have fired all of my torpedoes. We've dealt with one of the Ostergotlands. We've dealt with the Fletcher. We have lost the destroyer that pushed in. He took the brunt of their fire. And uh, you'll notice that I am still located. So now it's going to become a game of cat and mouse. The Friesland has been successful in taking a cap across there. As I said, we were communicating quite well in this game. And uh, I'm looking at these guys and thinking, you know, what the hell are you running away from? And I'm thinking, you know, get back and come and help me. We can get rid of this last destroyer and then we could push this flank. But they seem to be scared of the fact that there is a destroyer out there. And as I said in other videos, um, although I'll play for the team, I'm getting a little bit fed up of um, being jacked on like this where... Everybody just turns and heads the other direction. And why? We've got a destroyer. There's a battleship way out there. But we are overwhelming in numbers on this side of the map. This should be something that we are pushing now and putting a pincer onto red team from both flanks. So I'm playing cautious now. I know we've got an OG out there. I know that I've already put damage onto them. So we are going to go fishing with torpedoes again. Now I've got time before my engine boost cooldown runs out. I've got time before my smoke runs out. So what I'm doing now is I'm using the tools that are available to me. We go in torpedo fishing. We are looking at what we have available to us. And there we go. The Vanguard, who was running away, um, takes torpedoes and goes out to the Oster Gotland. So he's fired his torps. I know that we've got around a minute reload on the OG. So by the time that I'm ready to push this guy, um, he's going to have torpedoes again. So that's something I need to be cautious of. But had those guys stuck with me, I would have been more likely to stay and push and spot and have him taken care of. With four sets of guns, you know, three sets of additional guns covering me with my guns on this cap, I would have stayed out here. It's cost that Vanguard his life. He's back to port. Now, I'm located. He knows he's located. I'm pushing in because I want to use this island for cover. I need to be able to turn and get myself some cover if I need to but I'm pushing out there we go I'm spotted he's got me beat on concealment there he is he is going to have to turn to get both guns onto me I've got more guns than him so I'm going to continue to pop shots off knowing that I've got this little rock in front of me and even though he's going to disappear my back turrets can just about get around on him I've slammed the brakes on I'm going to sit tight he has fast torps. If he's going to fire them, they'll be coming in soon. But having fired his guns, he has no smoke available. He is now spotted by the rest of our team. Backing out, we put the fire on. Keep going for the reloads. These shells are a bit floaty. Everybody else is trying to get the kill as well. But we bang another salvo out there. And that is gone. That is... One Summers taken down, two Ostergotlands and a Fletcher, a full division for one cap. So we played the rest of the game. We didn't get a lot more damage. We did a little bit of spotting. We end up on 64,000 damage with those three kills. And we did get some help on that cap. But that just goes to show, look, we finished top of the board, 2,842 base xp which wasn't too bad so i hope that you have liked this little um show and tell for destroyer tactics let me know how you get on in your destroyers and while you're here don't forget hit the like button leave me a comment smash that subscribe button stick around click one of these links watch another video and until next time take care of yourselves and goodbye